Hello and welcome to a one-off special Jake and Chantel show to nowhere with me, Jake Moyes. And me, Chantel Watson. Tonight on the show. Simon Morris comes to talk to us about the hilariously strange news headlines he's come across. We play a game called What's It Watson where we blindfold our very own Chantel and get her to guess what object she is feeling and eating. And at the end we have a music performance from Jack Wyatt and his band. But before all that we have a man of the media coming in to talk to us about his career. Please welcome to the studio Irish filmmaker, writer and producer Tom Ryan. Hello, thanks very much for having me. That's right, thank you for coming on. So we're oh. going to talk to you about your career. Fantastic, sounds good. Uh, we've got a couple of questions for you. Sure. So what made you decide to become a college teacher and do you still do films on the side? Yeah, so um, I really love filmmaking. I'm very passionate about it. I think it's very important for young people to learn how to um, uh, get in interested in it, how to get invested in it, how to get involved in it. So I think um, I absolutely love being a college lecturer. I love being able to sort of pass on that experience to the next generation of filmmakers. I do still work on films on the side. I have uh, a short film project coming up later this year that I'm looking forward to getting uh, working on. And yeah, it's all very exciting. Uh, you've worked on Twice Shy, uh, and that went down as controversial in Ireland. Uh, what do you think that was, and was that always your intention? Uh, I think that film went down as a little bit controversial because of the subject matter. Um, it dealt with a young couple uh, who travelled from Ireland to England to have an abortion, because um, abortion was illegal in Ireland at the time. Um, yeah, we knew it, was, it, it would be controversial uh, making it, um, but I think it's important to make films that have something to say uh, something important to say and uh, start a conversation with the yeah. audience. If you were ma to make a film in England, what would it be about? It's a very good question. Uh, it could be about anything really. I think um, every day there's always new ideas popping in and out of my head. Um, I just need to kind of take the time to write them all down, I suppose. But yeah, there's a lot of scope here in England um, for wonderful stories to be told, I think. So forget budgets, if you could make any film anywhere about anything, where would it be, what would it be about and who would you cast? Uh, that's another very good question. I think, to be honest, budgets have never really been much of a concern because I think if you've, if you've a really good story that you are really passionate and you really want to uh, get that across and commit that to film and get it to an audience, you'll make it regardless of how much money you have. So I think that I would need just a really good idea first and foremost and then um, budget or lack of a budget uh, wouldn't be an issue I think the drive and the commitment would help you get that made and the cast would fall in line with all that as well so it all comes down to just having a really good story that you want so to it all tell. falls into place yeah yeah it all comes together would you ever consider directing a drama series if so what would it be about I've never really considered uh, moving into television um, I think my, my main love lies in cinema, lies in, uh, with movies. But that being said, I appreciate that TV has such a massive audience now. People absolutely love it. It's grown so much in popularity over recent years. Uh, I think more people are happier to watch Netflix shows than to go to the cinema nowadays. So, um, yeah, maybe that's something I'll have to consider in the future. And uh, out of Trampoline and Twice Shy, what was your favourite and why? Uh, of the two movies I've met, I don't have a favourite. I can't rank one over the other because I think they're two completely separate films. Both of them have uh, parts that I'm very, very proud of. Um, and then both, have, both of them have parts where um, I feel like there's room for improvement. So I think uh, my favourite film uh, is going to be the next one I make, which right. I haven't made yet. But uh, I know that, you know... Um, I can learn from all the mistakes I made on the previous two. Can you tell us a bit about what's it about, or are you keeping it close keeping to the chest? It, yeah, I'll keep it quiet for now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'll come back on the show to promote <laughs> it uh, when it's released. Great. Uh, so finally, Tom, what would you say to any aspiring writers and directors? What's your advice? My advice is to just go out there and uh, tell the stories you want to tell, make the movies you want to make. Um, you have to write that script. So many people have ideas in their heads. Um, but until it's written down, until you can show that to other people um, and start to build a team and start to get a crew together and start to make that come to fruition, uh, nothing's going to be done. So I think the first, first thing's first, and that is 
all those good good ideas you have in your head, all those great ideas that you think would be fantastic movies, write them down. Get that script written and that's the first step. That's great advice, Tom. So thanks everyone. That's Tom Ryan, everybody. Thank thanks you so very much. much. Thank thanks, you. it was a pleasure. Thank you. Okay, moving on now to our next guest to tell us all about the strangely hilarious weird news topics he's been and found. Please welcome to the studio our news correspondent, Simon, Simon Morris. Morris. Humorous headlines. Welcome, Simon. Thanks for coming on. Uh, Thanks for having me. What news topics have you got for us? Yeah, so, Jake, I've been through the newspapers and I found an interesting one today. Um, there's a pothole in Portsmouth, apparently, that's celebrating its second birthday. Um, the residents of, Port of Portsmouth have uh, celebrated by cooking a caterpillar birthday cake and they're singing happy birthday to the pothole. <laughs> oh, right. It's a bit of a weird thing, but it is Portsmouth. Um, I came across that one as well. And... Um, and the council showed their support on Twitter by wishing out happy birthday, which makes me think I'm glad to find out that they're working hard to fix the problem because potholes are very dangerous on the road. What else have you got, Simon? Uh, still on the topic of uh, potholes, um, the same thing happens in America. There's a man being rushed to hospital in America and the ambulance hit a pothole. Um, he had a ha rapid heart rate, but um, hitting a pothole made his heart rate return to normal. He's expected to make a full recovery now. That's good. He's expected to make a full recovery, unlike the road the pothole is on. Absolutely. What else have you found, Simon? I found another one. Um, there's a flea invasion. Uh, a flea invasion in Paris has called a police, caused the police station to close down. Well, I didn't think pigs could catch fleas. Well, baby pigs can, but not grown-up pigs. Oh, so it must have been sort of bringing your kid to work day at the police station. Piglets everywhere. Yeah, and, and <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely <laughs> right. Is that all you have, Simon? Uh, yeah, that, that's all I could find. Jake? Uh, yeah, actually, I've come across this one. A man in uh, Southampton has been arrested after being caught undertaking a sex act in his wheelie bin, leaving residents thinking he must have wheelie been horny. Great, so between yourselves, you have offended the police force and made an awful pun about a man in a wheel bin. Wheelie bin, yeah. I <laughs> know, oh, it's great, isn't it? We only deal with the important issues here on the show to know where. Thanks very much for coming in, Simon. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Simon Morris, everyone. Humorous headlines. Okay, moving on to our next part of the show now. The part that I'm not looking forward to. It's time to blindfold Chantel as we play. What's it, Watson? Okay, so the game is simple. Chantel is blindfolded. You can't see anything, can you? No. Good, good. That's what we like to hear. So all you've got to do is feel the objects and eat the objects to see what they are, really. So if you stand up. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> you. Okay, so we're going to start with number one here, which uh, I'll put on screen what it is. So if you come forward. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. I can't see anything. Right. I'm going to hold up the plate to you, and you're going to eat. No, what? It's on there. It's okay. <laughs> what? I'm you, scared. You've got to describe it and tell me what you think it is. What, can I eat it? You can eat it. Yeah, you can eat this one. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> What's the texture like? Right. <laughs> what does it taste like? Right. <laughs> Spit it out if you like. Is it banana? It is banana. Well done. That's a point to you. What do I win? What do you win? You, you get to keep the objects. You get to I eat. Don't want that. You, you, get right. to, you get to eat as much as you want. Okay. So the next, the next one is as a feely one. You got to guess what you're feeling here. Um, so I'm gonna hold a plate up to you, and you got to tell me. What it is? I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the screen. What it is? Right. Here's the plate. Feel what it is. What is that? What give, is? Give, give it, no. Give, give it a good stroke. No. Give it a good stroke. It's a snake. It's not no. A snake. Where am I gonna get a snake from? The zoo. <laughs> the zoo. I don't know what it is. Um, it's so slimy. <laughs> what do you think it is? I don't know. Can I pick it you up? You can pick it up. Yeah. Pick no. It up. What is a fairy? What? <laughs> it's not, it shouldn't be fairy. What is it? Pick it up, have a look. Have a, have a good old feel of it. Have a stroke of it. I mean, you can lick it if you want, but <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't advise it. Can I break it? Um, you can try, but you might slip about. <laughs> what is it? What do you think? Give it a rub. It's a banana. It's a banana, but what's on the banana? Why does it feel so slimy? I don't know. It's a glue. What do you put on banana? What do you put? <laughs> what do you put on bananas at school? I don't, I don't eat bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Not to eat. To demonstrate something at school, what would the teacher uh, call a banana? Yeah, it's, a, 
It's a cold one of banana. I don't want that. <laughs> you still have to keep that one. Right, the next one is a feely one. So I want you to put your hand on that plate. Uh, no, is this mayonnaise? It's not mayonnaise. I might cry for mayonnaise. It's not mayonnaise. I promise you, it's not mayonnaise. Mm, what is that? What, what's it feel like? What's the texture? Is it slime? It's slime. Well done. You got that one quickly. Well done. Do you want it? I don't want it. <laughs> don't chuck this over me. <laughs> right, so the next three are taste ones. I'm gonna get you to taste this one first. You should, you should like this one. Describe what it is, what you think it is. The chocolate. The chocolate, what, what type of the chocolate? The Cadbury's one with the stuff on it. The... Marvellous creation. Popping candy, well done, you got that one? Okay, so two more now, here's the next one. Take a bite of that and see what you think. Oh no, what is that? I've never tried this, so I don't know what it's like. Oh, okay. What does it taste like? What's the texture like? I don't like it. You don't like it? Uh, you don't like it? I'll take that one well, away. I'll I need a bin. I'll take that one away. <laughs> Spit on the table. Hang on, take that, take that. Spit into that. Where is it's that? White. It's a white. <laughs> oh, there. <laughs> so you don't like that one? No. I'll tell you what that one was. Oh. It was a Snickers bar, but it was a protein one. That's rank. I've never tried it, so I wouldn't know. Okay, the last one then, the last one. You turn around to here. There you go. Take a bite of this and tell me what you think it is. Again, explaining the texture and the taste. What does it taste like? What's, what's it like? You don't like it? No. It tastes like a what's it. <laughs> <laughs> what's it? Yeah, but it's not. It's not a what's it. I don't like it either. <laughs> you don't like it? So you give up on that one as well? Okay, here's another wipe. Spit out onto that. I'll tell you what that is. I've never tried this one either, but it's a, uh, a Ruby Cocoa Beans Kit Kat. Why do it taste like a, a pink Kit Kat? I, I don't know. I don't know why that tastes like that. Yeah, nah. Okay, so if you take your blindfold off. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you've had the slime. <laughs> That's what you've had. That is rank. That is rank. Yeah. So you got one point, two point, three point, four point, four points out of six. Chantel Watson. Oh god. What's it, Watson? That's all we got time for on the show to nowhere this week. Thanks to all our guests, Tom Ryan and Simon Morris. To leave us off here is with a special performance, especially for us. Please welcome to the studio Jack Wyatt and his band. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack White and his band, good night. Love, she sits apart from me, possessed behind the eyes. But apart from the frightening, the moaning, the biting, seems to be a nice guy. I know what she thinks when she looks at me. She looks with such despair. You're not the only one around here who needs a bit of fresh air. Cause I'm a sad, sad posty, got up in the love machine, no dream come clean, walking like a zombie.
Cause I won't hurt you girl Or leave you a loose end You make me a 